Midwestern Cowboy. This is Iron Horse. Thanks for watching. Well, I wanted to do a little bit of a video again, another follow-up video on my visits to Delphi and the Monon High Bridge Trail. Quite honestly, I was intent on being done with the subject after my, really, I think, four videos total that I've done. But I think the subject warrants now what for me is a fifth video. And for me, what really warrants the topic again, bringing it up again, is, is just some of the comments that I've gotten. Specifically, what concerns me is the danger of conspiracy theories regarding the Delphi murders. And so what's dangerous about conspiracy theories around this case, in my mind, is uh, reflected in one of the comments that I received on one of my videos. He said, and I quote, that we should all put on a mask and kill police officers. But that's what this person said. And so I, I chose not to publish this comment, obviously. But it was a concerning comment. And then the video that was attached, this person again attached a link to a YouTube video. And I'm assuming here now that this video was, you know, hey, here's evidence of the conspiracy that exists. So I watched this video that was attached in that comment and it was a video from somebody who proposes to be a traveling kind of journalist or video logger. And uh, this person posts, I don't know, four to five videos a day. Seems like he probably doesn't have a full-time job, but this is what he does full-time. Travels around investigating what he believes to be connections to some greater grand conspiracy that is uh, really even fueled by the uh, by the U.S. government or supported by the U.S. government. And what he what he talks about, or he uses the term "rat lines," that all the way from the top down to the very bottom, that all of these people are connected and in cahoots together, and it involves police officers and and everybody, right? And and in this video, his his thought was that the uh, murder in the Delphi case was connected to Islamic terrorism. He just had a lot of crazy ideas. I watched a number of his videos just to kind of get a feel for who this guy was and how he thought. And I can tell you, I'm not going to even give his name because I don't want to promote his work, but the guy just has this has some some ideas that are just unfounded. A lot of speculation, and without a lot of facts, just fueling. I think people of weaker minds that see a conspiracy behind everything, such as maybe the person that commented on my video. So it, it's dangerous, it, and that's that's my point. That's the point of making yet another vlog around the conspiracies that surround the Delphi murders. This is dangerous stuff. These statements that people are making, these ideologies, I can't even speak, these ideologies that people are promoting are capturing the hearts and minds of some people who buy into it hook, line, and sinker. And the next thing you know, we have somebody who has become radicalized that maybe would well do like they said shoot police officers and what's interesting to me is if i read correctly if i interpret correctly this person who commented on my video who shares this ideology apparently uh, who believes that we should be killing police officers because they're part of a great conspiracy that led to the murder of the Delphi girls and others across the country. Uh, he's becoming the very thing that he fears. Do, do you notice that? And this is maybe the point of, of at least that I wanted to make is that terrorism is terrorism 
regardless. Terrorism, hate, is the sort of thing that takes and lumps all kinds of people together by some category and then determines that all of those people that are in that category are their lives are worthless and they should be killed. Uh, I would propose that uh, the person or people who are adopting these worldviews and sharing these worldviews and ideas are no better than, no worse than, the Islamic terrorists who share essentially the same view that their enemies should just be routed, murdered, killed, done away with. Right? Do you see my logic? Does that make sense? I can tell you, I've got a bit of a front row seat here in one space, in that I've got a brother-in-law who is a police officer in Indiana, in another community, not Delphi, not, not where I live, but in another part of Indiana. He's a veteran police officer. Uh, the man is uh, as nice of a guy as you would ever want to meet. <clears throat> he is uh, contributive to his community. He's a coach. He coaches, you know, high school boys wrestling and uh, a church-going man, family man, and certainly not a co-conspirator, a member of the Brotherhood who holds secrets and participates or supports cover-ups when innocent lives are taken. It just, just isn't him. And so to think about making the statement of, hey, we should shoot all police officers, well, I can tell you that hits home for me because I've got a man that I love, my brother-in-law, who is one, right? And so the danger of these conspiracy theories, again, I just keep saying it, I know, is that they spawn, they create uh, energy around things that maybe are just theory and not fact. And certain minds really will take that and run with it. I just think that we need to be very factual around this case and others just like it. You know, what in the world is going on in our, in our society where we buy into the idea that the only answer is just to slaughter those who think differently than we do? It's just wrong. It needs to be addressed. So I just want to caution people here, really just caution people to not buy into everything that you hear to let the police do their work in this case. They aren't releasing all the facts and that's it's common practice. It isn't a cover-up, it's not a conspiracy. They don't want to jeopardize the case, right? They want to have, there are facts that they have and that they know that the perpetrators know, details in this case that only certain people know. And these things can become evidence in a court of law and their goal is to have a rock-solid case where they can get a conviction and really put behind bars and bring justice those that are involved in this case. That's why that's why they're they're not sharing everything that they know. It isn't some conspiracy. There, there just is some danger around these conspiracy theories danger that could result in harm to people based upon the comments that I received from one viewer who suggested, I think very seriously, that really we just need to go start killing police officers. That's just dangerous, horrible stuff. And I don't want to support that at all. So hopefully you're aligned with me on that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to post his comments. Uh, and I'm probably going to end up just blocking him as a viewer because I don't really want that garbage associated with what I produce in terms of content. So anyway, 
Midwestern Cowboy. This is Iron Horse. Thanks for watching.